everybody, I'm Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com. You can reach us at theflowcenter.com in Dallas or at hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number, 214-699-6627. Now the other day I was telling you all how that children were very susceptible to negative statements and tend to carry and build their reality on them for the rest of their lives. A child that has been fed on negativity tends to produce an adult that only sees the clouds with the arsenic lining. Their critical minds tend to see the worst in everyone else and if asked or not, will tell you just how they feel. They can actually tarnish your silver lining into black. Well. Really, all of us are guilty of gossiping and critiquing others behind their backs and sometimes in front of their backs. Did I actually say that out loud? It's so common that it is one of the main plot devices in just about every sitcom that the boob tube has ever programmed us with. Now, criticizing others is an obvious thing to notice about a split second after you said it. <laughs> one of the first chapters in Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People is about never criticize others. Now, Dale Carnegie uh, relates a story of how a young Abraham Lincoln would accidentally leave droll satirical critiques he'd written that would make Mark Twain blush in the main pathways and walkways so people would find them, pass them around to someone that could read <laughs> and gossip about them. The 19th century equivalent of, of government insiders accidentally leaking things to the press. I told you that was off the record. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyway, one day Lincoln wrote a thing that was so scathingly outrageous. He was challenged to a duel and right at the last second, the seconds, <laughs> You know, the guys that are holding the dueler's coats, well, they called it off. Now, Abe swore that he would never criticize or speak ill of anyone ever again. And even when his generals, one after another, were messing up uh, during the Civil War, he, he, he would maintain this. So the other day, I suggested that you use the delete button <coughs> when someone was putting it down and substitute a positive truth in its place. And when you feel the urge to criticize someone else, uh, before you do, <laughs> close your eyes, hit that delete button, and imagine yourself in that person's shoes. Or notice something about them that you could compliment instead. And I don't mean flatter, I mean compliment like, nice shirt. <laughs> so the delete button can help you when you are criticized and also to keep you from cutting someone else down. Uh, remember the words of the Apostle Paul, the tongue is a small thing compared to the whole body, like a rudder is a small thing compared to a huge barge. But that little thing can turn the whole boat. The tongue can turn peace into war and war into peace. This is Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com. You can reach us in Dallas at theflowcenter.com or hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number, 214-699-6627. Aloha, y'all. <laughs>